how to use a multimeter for a couple of common tasks. This is a full-on multimeter, but there's a bunch of great pocket multimeters. But for $29 from Amazon, this is a pretty good multimeter. I also like the pocket multimeter from Radio Shack. But if you've never owned a multimeter, you may not know what it's good for. And so I thought I'd show you a couple of quick things that a multimeter can be used for. And that will basically be to check the resistance of a material or a line, continuity, which tests whether or not you've got the same line at both places, or whether or not your common ground is actually as common as you think it is, and voltage, so that you can check whether or not your household voltage or your car battery voltage is actually where it's supposed to be. So, uh, you'll see a couple of quick clips after this walking through each of them. Okay, so here we have a standard power strip and we've got our multimeter, and we're going to set it to AC voltage in the 200 volt range. Now, this should be 120 volt-ish, anywhere between 110 and 120. Um, and so we always wanna set the multimeter to a higher voltage than what the rating is. If you're unsure, always start at the highest setting. In this particular case, that'd be 600 volts AC. I know that there's no chance that this is the 240 line, so I'm setting it to 200. And we insert into the two sides, and we see that this particular line is putting out 119.9. Yes, 119.9 or 1.9, and then now it's exactly 120. So this is putting out very close to the 120 that we'd expect, and so we're getting good power. And it's not bouncing or fluctuating, so it should be pretty solid. Um, by pushing the hold button, we can pull it out and it will keep that setting. So that if we wanted to show somebody else, yes, this is what it back tested at, I'm not insane, that's what you'd use it for. Or if you needed to remember the number when you got back to your desk. The multimeter can also be used in a mode that is called continuity or tone mode. And in continuity mode, whenever the line connects, you get the high-pitched tone that you're hearing. This can be good for checking the fact that you actually have ground everywhere you expect. So we're gonna plug into the ground plug on the power strip, and we get a clear tone. Now, because I run these metal face plates that are tied in with a grounding screw, my face plate is also grounded. So you get continuity across the ground here and there. Now, the other thing that you can test is whether or not you've got continuity across things that you shouldn't have continuity. Like, you wouldn't want to find out that this and this were actually connected because that would mean that there could be power here. Now, you wouldn't want to test this with the power on, so I'm not going to turn, I'm not actually going to plug it in and stick it in there. But with the power off, you should be checking to make sure that you don't have continuity across the two plugs on the AC line or across the plug and the ground so that you can ensure that you don't have any arc or any spots where you've got exposed wires in the wall. So that's where you would use continuity testing for. The other thing that you can use continuity testing for is if you've got a very long cable, you can make sure that you've got both ends of the cable together. Um, so, that's what the continuity testing is for. If you've ever picked a battery out of a pile and you couldn't tell whether or not it was good or not, the multimeter can be set to 1.5 volts DC, which will allow you to test whether or not your battery is good or not. And in this case, this battery tests at 1.56, and the battery next to it points at 1.36. And while 1.36 is probably enough to power most of your devices, you can now tell that this battery is used and this battery is fresh. So that's using the voltage setting on the multimeter in specifically in the battery mode. Because in the battery mode, it puts a little bit of load on the circuit as opposed to just the what is the output mode that is over here that says that this is 1.6 volts. 
and I expect this to read like 1.5. I didn't test first. Crap. Well, and this tests at 0.9. So you always want to be in the battery mode when you're testing batteries. <laughs> 